Elvis Presley fans far and wide are all shook up. Finally allowed back to his beloved Graceland. More than 600,000 visitors a year usually show up at his Memphis home, all coming to explore the perfectly preserved rooms and memorabilia awash in the American dream. But for the last two months, the suits, the cars, the jungle room have all been lonesome after the property shut down due to COVID-19. Nobody knew what was going to happen. No one knew how the country was going to reopen. There was that anticipation of at any moment now they could say, you can bring people back. But the Graceland experience is a little different now. Everyone who comes through here has to get their temperature checked. If it's above 100.4, there's no entry. Masks are required for employees, suggested for guests. But the biggest difference is pretty obvious. This place is normally packed with people, but there are no crowds here today. Crowd capacity is capped at 25 percent and restaurants at 50 percent. Opening day didn't come close to reaching that with only around 200 tickets sold. But those who did make it came ready to rock with the king. Oh, we're stoked. It's going to be awesome. I really want to see his outfits and uh, just the music, everything. Elvis spottings came in all shapes and sizes. Trying to have yes. some fun for the first time in a while. What do you think Elvis would say if he were here today to witness all of this? Elvis would be right here at the front door welcoming everybody right through the front door. Would he be wearing a Graceland mask? He would be wearing a Graceland mask. You know, probably with a little curled lip. An iconic landmark navigating a new normal. For today, Dasha Burns, NBC News, Memphis, Tennessee.